Okay, so if you're given two thirds of the fraction two thirds and you want to get that to a decimal and round it to the thousandths, the hundredths, and the tenths place, I'll show you how to do that. So first off, this is two divided by three. We want to know how many times three is going to go into two. So we could write our two right here and then three and we can do long division here. You could do it on a calculator as well. So three doesn't go into two, but if we call this 20 and put a zero with a decimal point, we could do that. Three times seven is 21, that's too much. So three times six, that's 18. Subtract, 20 minus 18 is two. Three doesn't go into two, we call it 20, we move over one. Now we said six times three is 18. Subtract and we get two. Doesn't go into two, call it 20. And you can see what's happening. This is just repeating. Three times six, so six times three, that's 18. Subtract, you get two call it 20, move over one, six times three is 18, and just keep going on here. So let's round this to the thousands place. So that's one, two, three places after the decimal. So we have six, so we're gonna round this up. So we're gonna call this seven, and rounding two thirds, the fraction, to a decimal, we get 0 0.667. If you wanted to round it to the hundredths place, so here, one, two, so we're gonna round up. So this goes to seven here, get rid of all that. And at the hundredths place, two thirds would be 0 0.67. Finally, if we wanted to round it to the tenths place, we round up, so this becomes seven, and we have 0 0.7. The other way you could do this, if you end up with all these sixes here, you could just put a bar over it here to show that it repeats, and then you get rid of these, and that's really accurate. That means that it goes 0.6 all the way out forever. This is Dr. V writing two thirds as a decimal and rounding it to the tenths, hundredths, and thousandths place. Thanks for watching.